Hey guys, Toyota Corolla here with another crazy little bit of a bar proposition bet. This way, you guys will be allowed to play a game of poker with your particular participant and still win, even if they're allowed to pick all the cards they want. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I wonder what's next, I'm so excited. What toy is next, I'm so excited. I wonder what's next, I'm so excited. Toy is next, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see how to do this bet. And for this particular bet, I'm gonna be using this very edgy deck of Daniel Madison Martyr cards. Oh boy, man, if that doesn't add to the production quality of this video, I don't know what else does. Uh, you should do all the things that people do in terms of videos that they ask you. You know, they tend to ask you, hey, like the video before you even watch it and make up your mind as to the content of the video. So I'm gonna ask you to do the same. Uh, well, without any further interruptions, let's just um, let's just jump jump right into it, right? Let's just jump right into it. So here we are at the piggy bar to illustrate this proposition bet, this bet that could win you free 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 drinks or free tits. You could win whatever you want with this particular bet, and the actual setup looks a little bit like this. Mm, man, I'm so tired from all that uh, women I get. Uh, so, oh, sir, would you like to take up a wager? Because I feel like you are so bad at poker that I could probably let you pick all your cards and you still can't beat me. Why, I've never been so offended in my life, sir. I will take you up on that bet and I will definitely defeat you in a game of poker. Not only am I superior to you intellectually, but also I will end up with the most attractive woman at this establishment by the end of the night due to my magic skills. So go ahead, I'll let you even pick your cards first, sir. I'll let you pick your cards first. Well, you, sir, are really dumb because I'm gonna take out the royal flush. So there's no way you're gonna defeat me because I have the best hand in poker right here, the royal flush, the king, the queen, the jack, the 10, and the ace of diamonds, sir. There is absolutely no way you could defeat me here. So there is my hand, the, the royal flush in diamonds. I wanna see you try to, try to win this bet while I'm so ahead. So it's time for me to pick my hand and see if I could outmatch your wager. Uh, so let me pick out my cards over here, sir. I'm just taking out some cards that I think would help me out in this particular face-up game of poker and hopefully show you that I am not only smarter than you, but I will in fact leave with the most attractive woman today at this particular bar and establishment. And my hand is the Royal Flush in clubs. Look at how good that hand looks. You got the, the clubs and, and the Royal Flush. Royal Flush in clubs. Hey, wait a second. That's the same hand that I have. We both have the Royal Flush. That, that's dumb. You didn't beat me. Ha ha, idiot. So you, you bitch. That wasn't the bet. The bet was that you couldn't defeat me. And we are at a draw here. So you still didn't beat me, therefore I win the bet. So give me whatever it is that we wagered beforehand. So you see how the you see how the bet works, right? You see how it works. You tell the spectator that they're so bad at poker that there is absolutely no way that they could uh, beat you in a game of poker, even if you let them pick their cards, even if you spread the deck face up and let them pick whatever hand they want, there's no way they could ever beat you. Of course, in the in the bet, they don't beat you and you don't beat them because whatever hand they take out, assuming that hopefully they have a bountiful knowledge of poker, they'll take out the best hand they know, which is a royal flush. You see that? And you take out a royal flush as well, which means they're not gonna beat you, you're not gonna beat them, it's a tie, so therefore you win the bet, because the bet wasn't that you're gonna beat them, the bet was that they can't beat you, which they, they didn't, you see the you see the ingen ingenuity here? Oh boy, I'm so excited, I can't wait for you guys to win some free drinks with this particular bet, oh yeah, oh, what, what? what's that? There's a bonus to this particular bet, there's, a, there's an after, 
there's an after bet that you could still do and still win another free uh, free tit or free drink, whatever it is you want. Well, we'll check that out after the break. After the break. Hey, hey there, friends. Are you a fan of hard hitting, practical magic? Well, then I got the website for you, pigcake.me. It's the source for all things magic. You can go check it out. You can check out the piggy merch. You can check out all my projects there, Vogue, any card at any number, persistence of memory, short project. You can look at all of them. You can check them out. You could pick and choose whichever one you think is best for you. And if you look in the, the description below, you might find a little bit of a little bit of a hot coupon code for 20% off everything else other than Vogue because it's brand new and um, you should check it out anyways. So Pokemon, go to that website and and get. Uh, magic today uh, oh yeah oh hey man what a wonderful break that was almost makes you want to uh, get up and go, go to one of those hot websites and check all those things out uh, so here is the aftermath of that particular bet you have a very angry spectator who says oh man I feel swindled and you say you know what double or nothing we're gonna do the exact same thing double or nothing uh, you could win your losses against, sir. And of course, a spectator might say something like, Man, I'm so bamboozled by that particular bet that we just engaged in that I will take you up on your offer. Double or nothing. All right, here, here we go. But I'll pick first. So I'm going to take out uh, my hand right now, sir. I'm taking out my hand of, of poker. And uh, there is no way, sir, that... You will beat me because I am superior to you intellectually and in terms of my ability to get women. Uh, so here is my chosen poker hand, sir. That's, that's the hand that I take out right here. This is my, my poker hand. And here, the spectator might uh, be at a, at a standstill here. So they, they might take out a hand like, You imbecile. That's not a good poker hand. I'm going to take out a straight flush to defeat your lowly four of a kind with tens, you adolescent idiot. So I choose my hand, a straight flush, beating your hand, you absolute buffoon. This is the best hand I could possibly get, and there's no way you could beat me, you uh, short piece of- Silence, you impregnated imbecile. I will defeat you in this game because we're playing five card poker and we both have the ability to discard cards and replace cards that we discard. You imbecile, you probably didn't remember that rule, did you? And I would like to employ my discard ability and discard uh, these three tens and a three and replace them with uh, four other cards. In this case, the queen, the nine, the jack, and the king, therefore making my hand a king high straight flush, beating your hand. But alas, the spectator also has the ability to discard cards, but they can't make a better hand than a, a straight flush that you have defeated with a better straight flush. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I can't wait to explain to you the logistics of this particular addition to the bet. So if you guys haven't realized it, what you gotta do for this initial or this aftermath bet is that you got to take out the four tens and the three. So what this allows you to do is that the spectator is not going to be able to make any sort of hand like a royal flush. They can't use the tens for any hand. So the highest hand they could make is a straight flush with nine high. You see that they can make a nine high straight flush. That is the highest hand they could possibly take out. Now, of course, because you are playing draw poker, what that means is that you could discard a certain amount of cards and get the same amount of cards in your hand once per game. So what that allows you to do is discard all the cards apart from one particular card. In this case, we'll get the 10 of clubs and leaves you with the ability to make a king high straight flush better than the spectator's best hand. Now, of course, because these three tens and the threes are at the discard pile, the spectator can't make a better hand than that because they can't make a royal flush because all the tens are discarded. So that's the best hand you're stuck with. You're stuck with a, a king high straight flush, therefore defeating them in a game of face up poker and showing your absolute mastery and dominance over 
absolutely every aspect of their life, which is the point of these bar wagers. Uh, so that's the bar bet. You win some hot drinks and some f- uh, free uh, dicks, and you are the talk of the town with this particular bet. So make sure to use it wisely. Make sure that you uh, have a good pair of running shoes on because I'm sure whoever you use this on will definitely not be in the best mood. But I hope you guys enjoyed this particular rendition of Piggy at the Bar and you guys do all the things that people do. Um, I'm going to go figure out different ways to ingest a small uh, reptile. I see you again when 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 I see you again